Hey y'all, happy Thursday evening, honey. I'm just getting off the night job and I'm going home to get in the tub. Praise God. Brush my teeth and tongue because you need to brush both. You need to be brushing both. Praise God. Um, let me start some light on so y'all can see me, but I don't need to be turning the light on while I'm driving. Like, look at me. Just looking dusty. I call myself trying to wear a little thing today with these locks, but baby, the wind just be blowing it. My hair be looking so wild, the wind just be blowing it any kind of way. But that's the thing about having locks and natural hair, the hair can do what it wants and we let it. Anyway, I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want to drive. I'm gonna put it on the highway, so it's gonna be you're gonna see me in and out in lights. But listen to what I'm saying tonight. I want to talk about on my way home. I want to talk about Christians who find themselves in situations where they got to check somebody because it's almost as if because you people have a thought process you know those people that's always saying Christians are fake you know what I'm saying you, you because you don't let people run over you you don't let people handle you any kind of way you don't let people talk to you crazy and all that kind of stuff and because you diplomatically Cause I don't, I don't cuss. So I don't have to cuss you out. But you're not gonna handle me any kind of way. You're not gonna disrespect me because I'm not gonna disrespect you, right? So I, I do my best to try to treat people how I want to be treated. Um, I don't always make an A. I don't always, you know what I'm saying? I don't always make an A because some, you know, for whatever reason. Sometimes if I'm irritated and I'm, nah, I've worked on that. I worked on that. Let me let me retract that. And I'm gonna stop professing that because that's really not me anymore. If I'm frustrated, I tend to be quiet. In the old days, when I was frustrated, I would lash out. You know, I tend to be quiet, get ghosts, won't say nothing to you, like literally, not a word. Um and but there are times that I can say things in a better way. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could, I could say things in a better way. So I'm still working on that at times. I'll be honest there. You know, I may have said something a little too sharp, and I go back and apologize for the way that I said something, even if I meant what I said. I may have to go back and apologize for the way that I said it, or something like that. But I do intentionally do my best to try to have do the offenses and 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 act. What is it? Address offenses in the way that the Bible tells us to. And, you know, I do try. I do intentionally do my best doing that. But some people have to be, you have to be a little sterner with. Because the disrespect is at a level, it's at such a level to where it's just like, I cannot, I'm not going to cuss you. But I cannot just allow you just to um, get away with doing it. Now, unless the Holy Ghost tells me the bright of my tongue, then I'm at liberty. Christians, saints, people of God, of the Bible. We are at liberty to address things that we need to address. We are at liberty to address the disrespect. We're at liberty to remove anybody out of our space that brings strife, brings discord, brings confusion, doesn't bring peace. We are at liberty to do that. Okay? And you're still saved, you're still sanctified, you're still filled with the Holy Ghost. Just because we're saved does not mean that we are a doormat and that we just sit up and allow people to literally walk over us. We have we are servants, but we're not doormats. And we still have to do life. We're still humans. We are allowed. Anger is an emotion. We're made in his image. Anger is an emotion. The way that we handle anger, though, is when it becomes a sin, when we kind of get, you know, if I'm angry at you, and then I, I don't know. I, I'm going to go to the extreme. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm gonna go to the extreme with it. If I'm angry at you and I slap you, that's that's will be a sin to me. 
because you that one of the fruits of the spirit is self-control and we should be able to handle conflict with our words with conversation even if it's heated fellowship as i learned in counseling even if it's heated fellowship as long as at the end of the discussion that there has there has you have come to a common ground sometimes you may not come to a common ground right at the time or you may not ever come to a common ground because some people you just cannot reason with you just cannot reason with some people and those type of people you cut them 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 type of people you got to sever the ties with because i mean unless the lord is telling you to stick around you know because he's giving us free will to guard our hearts <laughs> with due diligence praise god and sometimes some people you just literally have to cut them off because i i just, it's just not it, no it, it, you know everybody is a soul everybody is and i understand that and some people's flight is oh i'm gonna take all the disrespect because they're a soul and i'm just not willing to do that i'm because it's it, because it's a way to treat people whether you're saved or not it is a way to treat people whether it got dark whether you saved or not it's a way to treat people it's a way to talk to people it's a way to handle things because regardless if you're saved or not if you are an adult i'm expecting you to be able to have a conversation with you but everybody is on a different level you know what i'm saying so i just had to get that off my chest what y'all think about that you know chime in in the comments do y'all feel that because you're saved you need to be a doormat and you need to just let yourself be disrespected now there are different scenarios where god may tell you to be quiet and just let them talk let them talk because you know our goal is to de-escalate any situation but at the same time you have to address certain things you gotta address certain people because you can't just talk to folks any kind of way and expect them to just lie back and take it and still deal with you <laughs> who does that where they do that at where they do that at not here not not in my house so but anyway um i hope y'all are having a great day um it's been pretty it's been pretty rough these last two weeks for me I'll turn this light off I'm sorry y'all but god is going to get the glory out of everything and i just gotta continue trusting and believing and standing on his word and standing exactly on what i tell everybody else to stand on when they go through heavy trials i gotta pull on that word and that's what i'm doing uh even when i don't understand you know and that's another thing people always say oh you can't question god baby read your bible read your bible honey read your bible please please read your bible that is literally not true um uh, james one I think it's the i don't know what verse it is i want to say 27 but i think it's three uh it specifically says ask god i'm paraphrasing ask god whatever you will he he has the wisdom to tell you he has the wisdom to give you the answer so you go to god and ask him whatever you need to ask him the only thing about asking god something is you have to be prepared for the answer or for the the answer that you won't get you have to be prepared for that but you can ask God whatever you want to ask him. I don't know who made that up. That's a, that's, that's, I don't know. That came from the old days, honey. You know, God has shown himself and revealed himself even more to us in this day and age. Um, then in the back of the, then, you know, in the old days, you know, that power is still here from the old days. And what I'm saying is, a lot of things we had to relearn because they may not have been no harm by it, but it definitely wasn't truly biblical, some things that were taught. But at the end of the day, we still have that same power that they had. We still we still have that at our lead. We still have that access to that same power. That same Holy Ghost power that our former, you know, mothers and, and, and the, the legends of our day up before what they walked in what they had um and may god rest some of their souls um and miss them too but shout out to the ones that's still alive and well and still uh 
running on to see what the end gonna be and ain't compromise, ain't bow down to bail or kiss his raggedy lips. Okay? All right, y'all. Let me turn this light off because I really don't like driving with the light on. Uh, but yeah, I wanted y'all to see because it's kind of weird talking and then the, 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 the dirt light is off. But love y'all. Hope y'all have a great day. Stay encouraged. Be encouraged. And um, hey, see you in the next video. Bye.